Today's STEM quick win is Think a Marshmallow, and it's brought to you in partnership with Eli Lilly and Company. To learn more about the content behind today's STEM quick win, check out the activity sheet linked down below. Now let's get into the video. Today I'm joined by STEM kid, Gigi. Gigi, and we're gonna be talking and thinking about and investigating matter. So matter is anything around us that has mass and takes up space. So Gigi, you're matter, and I'm matter, and this stick is matter, and this table is matter, and everything else around us is matter. So Gigi and I collected a couple pieces of matter here in nature. I found a stick, and Gigi, what'd you find? A rock. A rock. What I want to explore today is if they float or sink. So we have some water right here in a container. So thinking about our rock and our stick, you can kind of hold those and think for a minute. When we put those in water, do you think they're going to float or sink? I think this will sink and this will float. All right, we'll go ahead and pop it in there and give it a whoa! Look at that, you are totally right. Your predictions or your hypothesis were correct. The rock down here sinks and the stick up there floats. And the reason that happens has to do with the density of an object. So to think about density, I have two balls here. I have a golf ball and a ping pong ball. They're about the same size, so they take up about the, the same amount of space, but their masses are different. One is heavier and one is lighter. So that tells us that one is more dense and one is less dense. What do you think is gonna happen when we put those in water? I think this will float and this will sink. That one's gonna float and that one's gonna sink? Mm -hmm. All right, well let's kind of move the kitty cat and give that a try, go ahead. Oh! Awesome, look at that. So because of the density, the golf ball is more dense than the water, so it sinks to the bottom just like the rock. The ping pong ball up here is less dense than the water, just like the stick, so they float on the surface. But for our activity today, we're gonna use one more material. What do we have here, Gigi? Marshmallow. A marshmallow. How can you describe that marshmallow? It's squishy. It's squishy. It's white. It's white. Like a cylinder. Oh, it's kind of a cylinder shape. Great, and it's kind of similar in size to the ping pong ball and the golf ball, right? I noticed that. So if you were to take that marshmallow and drop it in the water, what do you think will happen with the marshmallow? I think it will float. Why do you think that? Have you ever seen a marshmallow floating in anything before? Hot chocolate. Oh, you've had some hot chocolate with marshmallows floating, so you have a little background knowledge of that. Well, let's go ahead and test that marshmallow and make sure it floats. Awesome. So that marshmallow floats. Now, what if I give you a different marshmallow? Your challenge now with this marshmallow is what is something that you could do to that marshmallow to get it to sink instead of float? Now that we know a little bit more about floating and sinking, what could you maybe do to that marshmallow to try to get it to sink? Try to make a hole, try to make a hole in it to put something heavy in it. Oh, you could make a hole in it to put something heavy in it and give that a try to see if you can make it get more mass. So that's the challenge is to see can you get a marshmallow which usually floats on the top of the water like this to get more dense to change the density so that it will sink to the bottom of a cup of water. So that's your challenge. We'd love to see what you try and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, bye! bye.